Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verses 25 through 27, where it is written. Meanwhile, standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. They said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his own home. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Jesus Christ is on the cross in unbelievable physical agony. He's not um, swearing at the people who did this to him. He's not saying, oh, you just wait, I'll get you. Where is our Lord's mind? He's worried about his mother. Look, in this society, without uh, if you're not married, Joseph had died by this point. He's never mentioned after um, Jesus is 12 years old. Joseph, Joseph has passed, and she doesn't have any other uh, children. A widow woman is worth nothing in this society. And he's ascending. John, take care of mom. And John, according to the history of the church, did that very thing. They moved to the city of Ephesus, and they lived there until Mary fell asleep in the Lord herself. And I, I just imagine Mary at the foot of the cross. She heard the angel, hail, full of grace. Her, her cousin said, Blessed are you amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb. She was there at the manger, and the shepherds came. She was there at the temple, and Simeon was like, oh. and she was there when Jesus was 12 in the temple, throwing him into a bear hug. Where were you? And when she fell asleep, I can imagine now it was Jesus' Jesus's turn to put mom in a bear hug and say, I'm so glad you're back with me. Those are the best of times. And here at the cross is the worst of times. Either way, where is Jesus' concern? With people. He's with us at our very best this coming Sunday. He's with us at our very worst today. The same Jesus is there. Face down the floor. He doesn't hate you. He doesn't despise you. He loves you. He dies for you. He's ready, willing, able and eager to take you back. And that's that. If I said anything other than that, I would not be a Christian. He loves you. Just repent. And don't even worry about it. Because the power of repentance in his sight is that powerful. And that's that. Let us close with prayer. Lord, may we never despise repentance, but by our Hope by your Holy Spirit may you always turn away from evil and embrace you. Amen.